Hey guys, welcome back to the Emlyn in the Mix podcast, season three, episode 30. I'm back from holidays and I'm here to give you a deliciously awesome podcast for you guys. Episode 30, how good is that? And how crazy is that at the same time that we've done 30 podcasts this year alone? I cannot believe how fast this year is going. We're certainly past the halfway mark and let's look at what's been happening in the world of music technology, music gear, software and hardware. Well, today, to be real with you, it is mostly software. I mean, it is all software, but it's some pretty cool stuff in here and I'm going to go over what is new in the world of music technology, music gear. And if you love all of that, then you've come to the right place. If you're a new timer to this podcast, new timer, if you're new to this podcast, new timer, actually, that's kind of cool because you've heard old timer, never heard new timer. But anyway, if you are new to this podcast, welcome. I welcome you. I hope you enjoy this podcast. If you like studio recording, you like music gear, or you're interested in that sort of thing, then you're going to love this podcast. And for those of you who are regular listeners, thank you so much for coming back time and time again. I know you enjoy what we deliver on this podcast. But without further ado, let's just get stuck straight into what I've... These are my little selections for you guys to just check out. Now, one thing I do want to say, and I've said this many times, a many time on the podcast before, is that this podcast is not to overwhelm you with gear and software. It's merely to just show you what I think is kind of cool that's happening in the world of music. And I think you should take the information on this podcast with a grain of salt. And, you know, if there's something that looks nice to you, then sure, go and get it. But it's not about just jamming a bunch of products down your throat and then you just like are totally confused. One thing I've noticed that with me, like making music, sometimes less is more like, you know, if I'm working on a track, uh, I might only use like four or five different brands of plugins and I'm really happy with the sounds that they all sort of work together. And, you know, if there's too much going on, it can be kind of confusing and make it hard to complete the creative process. So I just wanted to make that little disclaimer there. I hope that even makes sense what I'm saying. But anyway, let's let's just get stuck straight into it. So this first one is from Native Instruments. And this is a brand new one that they've dropped in the last couple of weeks. This is Empire Breaks. Now, I feel like they dropped an expansion. They did. They dropped an Empire, not Empire Breaks, but they dropped an Empire-esque like a New York style hip hop expansion not long ago. But this is a completely new instrument from the ground up for what it looks like indeed. And what is it? It's a classic hip hop beats, dig deep into golden era, boom bap drums, punchy kicks, solid snares and crispy hats, <clears throat> layer big bass orchestral stacks off kilter keys and game changing hybrid textures unlock 480 groove patterns that can be edited in any door with midi drag and drop and part of the play series so this is part of the play series great sounding presets and real-time control with an intuitive interface now i dare say and don't quote me on this but i dare say it probably has the ability to play rhythms for you and an automatic rhythm player let's just keep scrolling through here I dare say it should have that. Although it may not. I mean, if you want to make your own beats, that's fine anyway. So Empire Breaks packs the timeless essence of classic sample-based drums into an inspiring play series instrument that unlocks the rhythmic sound of golden era of hip-hop. Every kick clap tom and hat is captured from brand new vintage style drum recordings proceeding with classic gear and delivered with multiple velocity layers for kits that sound totally natural play beats live the old school way or draw from a range of custom made patterns then dial in extra grit groove and swing with a range of easy to use macro controls for bodage dwelling boom packs blasting beats Man, the team at Native Instruments are really riding up a storm here. Anyway, Empire Breaks was created in collaboration with creating the sound. And if we have a look, if you're watching here, if you're watching us here on YouTube, if you're listening on the podcast, you can jump over to Emlyn in the mix at any time to check out these podcasts. We film them all. We've got some GUIs here, and this looks really, this looks relatively new. What you have here, so this GUI here we're looking at says customize your drum sound with a the kit page so you can swap 
out samples in and out that's pretty cool while adjusting pitch velocity and more whilst toggling for insert effects scrolling along here yeah this looks like this is a new instrument from the ground up and you can see here you can quickly generate grooves with a selection i was right 16 rhythmic patterns for every kit i told you they would have rhythms the play series normally does i looked at last week if you haven't checked it out uh, guitar electric mint oh my gosh i hope i got that that is an incredible sounding guitar sampled instrument and it has rhythms of course which you can just dial in it's so much fun to play anyway it says here so you can also edit in any door via midi drag and drop so it's really cool they've included the rhythms there but if you don't want to use other people's rhythms or other grooves and you just want to create your own of course you can do that dial in your own midi let's have a quick listen i'm just going to scan through the demos here i actually like the third demo let's just get through here not this one here we go check this out How good is that? So nice. Empire Breaks there. One little demo for you guys, but there's plenty of awesome demos. You can go over and check out the page on the Native Instruments website. Check it out. Link down below, affiliate link down below if you want to support the channel and this is something that you like and you want to get. Click the link down below to get it. It's only 49 bucks, which is probably, it's probably like 29 USD. 49 AUD, 29 USD, I'd imagine. All right, let's move along to our next instrument here or next this is an expansion pack comes to us again from native instruments and this one is a jazzy freeform expansion this is a new expansion that's come out free flowing sounds of jazz ready to create custom hip-hop cuts jazz perform jazz performances with rich vintage ambience swing cymbals pizzicato bass stride piano and 50 machine kits 375 loops 431 one shots and more Break the rules with Freeform, captured a musical movement that originated in New Orleans, smooth, syncopated jazz that breaks the rules, explore the art of sampling with originally performed royalty-free elements. Freeform is defined by its pluralistic foundations ranging from blues to souls and various drum forms of fusion, improvised with snappy percussions, polyrhythmic patterns, blue notes, and much more in the definitive collection for jazz-based hip-hop. Let's have a quick listen to Freeform form shall we oh yeah 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 here we go 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 So good. Oh, that's amazing. Amazing demo too. That is amazing. That sounds so good. I didn't listen to that before the podcast. I always do that for you guys. I actually keep them fresh. I try not to listen until we do the podcast so I get a real live, a real live feedback. Is that the right word? Feedback of my... I guess how I feel about it and it sounds freaking good. You know, it kind of reminds me of like that late 90s, uh, late 90s, this sort of sound was coming in really heavy on hip hop jazz, but man, that sounds good. And I hope that comes, I mean, it must be coming back around jazz on hip hop. Damn, that is good. That is really good. I could actually, yep, 
That's fantastic. I'm definitely getting this. This is incredible sounding. Anyway, great demo. It really shows it off. So you get, yeah, 375 loops, 287 drum samples, 431 one shots, 58 battery kits, 50 machine kits, and you get 250 patterns, 25 instruments, and nine projects for machine if you're a machine user. <laughs> what can I? Uh, this is for me. This is, I'm. I'm down. This is a fantastic sam setting sample kit. They're so cheap too. I don't know what's going on. These instruments recently with... Am I looking at US dollars here? I need to just double check. I don't think I am though because it knows I'm in Australia. Anyway, I think that's 49 AUD. I'm assuming 29 USD. Link down below. Anyway, I'll have a link down below. It's going to be an affiliate link again. If you love that sound, go out and get it, okay? Again, as I said at the start of this podcast, it's not about just you guys getting everything that I show you guys, but if you do like it, then you should definitely check it out. It could create or inspire something new within you to be creative. And that, again, this is what is actually what I intend with this podcast is just to inspire you to see what's happening and, and give you inspiration for new creative tools that you could potentially use. But again, you don't need everything. Just keep that in mind. But I feel it linked down below if you do, if you're just like, ah, oh, damn, I need this, Emily, get out of my way, shut up with your podcast, I'm getting this, the link will be down below for you guys, all right, let's move along. This is a, if, now, if you listen to this podcast today, hopefully when this podcast drops, you're listening straight away and this is something you want to get, you should jump on this, this is an incredible deal if you love what Roland are doing with their Roland Cloud, they've got the Play for Life offer again, they had this earlier in the year and they're doing it again, but unfortunately it ends in literally, what is it, oh, it's ending in two days from when this podcast drops, so apologies, this is a short notice one, I don't normally do this, but what is Play for Life? Well, essentially, if you sign up for their cloud service, the one-year cloud service, that it's a subscription thing, but it is pretty good because you get a bunch of awesome Roland emulation analog emulators, you actually get at the end, or you get it straight away, you essentially get, I think is it one license or two? Let's have a look. So experience everything from Roland Cloud has to offer for a whole year, including legendary collection of iconic Roland instruments. It's two, it's two, baby. Choose two of your favorites to keep forever, even if you don't renew your membership. This is a cool deal. So you basically you're basically getting, you're paying for two software licenses and then you're getting the the whole kit and caboodle for one year. I, I think, I mean, if you place it that way, it doesn't sound as desirable, but I think it's still a really good deal. You've only got two days to jump on it. Check it out. Play for life. If you like what Roland Cloud has been doing, they've got an amazing plethora, plethora of Roland goodies here. SH2, System 100, Jupiter 4. Jupiter 8's in there, TR-808, TB-303, of course. you got all the Junos, Juno 60, Juno 106, the classic, TR-909, JX-3P, SH-101, Bass Madness, TR-606, all the TRs. I'm not going to say them all here. you got a bunch here. JD-800, they're all legendary, iconic synthesizers. And if you are watching here on YouTube, you can see they're really well done. Like Much like what Korg did with their software, they're just... They, got, they get like the original teams in to actually get the software sounding on par with the the hardware, basically. So if you've always desired Roland, this is the way to go. No affiliate link here, no kickback for me or your boy or the podcast for that matter. But I mean, if it's something you are interested in, check it out. Let's move along to our next one, Nexus Expansion Studio Production 2. I thought this was interesting. I don't normally show off the Nexus stuff. I know Nexus is not as popular as it used to be, our boys and girls at REFX, but it is still, uh, in my opinion, it's probably one of the better or still maybe one of the best romplers out there in terms of just easy playability i just i don't understand why it's not popular anymore because it used to be like and i've said this on the podcast before it used to be what was it like 14 years ago this was the thing this was the rompler everyone was using nexus and in fact i reckon nexus the original uh nexus or well, nexus 2 i think it was back then that kicked off the edm revolution 
uh, over in the state, United States, pretty much every massive EDM banger would have been using Nexus. I could be completely wrong, but this is just my opinion. It was massive back in the day. Anyway, this is just a studio production expansion that they've got, which is cool. If you have Nexus or you want to look into getting Nexus and you get this expansion, this is a pretty cool little expansion of just sort of production elements. I think we'll just have a quick listen back to it and see what you get. Here we go. Love that snare. All right, we're gonna leave it there. That is the Nexus expansion, Studio Production 2. So they've obviously had Studio Production 1, but how good does that sound? Like all its samples sound super clean and it's just, it's a really nice romper. If you haven't checked it out, go check out Nexus. And this is just one of their expansions. It shows you all the presets. You get 179 presets in this particular bundle. Very cool indeed, Nexus expansion. I would actually, if you are a Nexus user, leave a comment down below if you're watching us here on YouTube or, or reach out to me on the podcast. I'll be interested to know, in fact, who still uses this Rompler because I personally, I think it's great. I just think it's totally overlooked in 2022. Right, let's move along to our next our next piece of news here for you guys, all software, of course. And this one comes to us from Universal Audio, the Waterfall B3 organ. This is an incredible emulation. Of course, Universal Audio never letting us down on the emulations. In fact, Universal Audio, they seem to software and hardware killing it. Just killing it, okay? So let's just get rid of our accepting our cookies, our warm, fresh cookies from our grannies there. And what is exactly Waterfall B3 Organ? Waterfall B3 Organ is the world's most thorough emulation of the classic Hammond B3. Thorough. That's right. Universal Audio holding it down with the emulations. Organ and its companion Leslie 147 rotary speaker cabinet. If you haven't heard a Leslie cabinet before, this is an incredible sounding cabinet, giving your music the same rich and tone and three-dimensional sound heard on decades of legendary albums. So get the sound of the legendary 1958 tone wheel organ as heard on countless R&B, soul, rock, hip-hop and gospel hits and experience the rich three-dimensional world of the vintage 1974 rotary speaker cabinet. Stay inspired with over 70 expertly crafted presets giving you legendary organ sounds instantly. Okay, so now it is part of the UAD Spark, which is actually getting some very good feedback. The UAD Spark is getting some very, very good feedback. I know we, we it's been controversial talking about subscriptions in the past, but it literally is the way of what is happening now, and I think people are getting more and more used to it. Now, it looks as though if we jump over here, if you buy the Apollo... It looks like you can just buy... Oh, you can buy it outright for the Apollo and UAD. So buy once, no subscription, $1.99. Or you can jump on the Spark and have it for $19.99 a month, plus a bunch of other collection of UAD plugins, which are really good, by the way. All right, let's have a quick listen to the Waterfall B3 organ. Fantastic little demos here of just how good... If you need an organ, this is probably the one-stop, all-in-all organ that you'll ever need. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Ooh. 
how good is the Leslie cabinet? You can hear it swirling. <laughs> How is this a digital emulation? Seriously. Go to church. Wow, how good is honestly? This is becoming a joke now. Like that, how is that a digital emulation? Honestly, it's sample based, of course, but damn, that sounds good. That just mind blowing. Okay, yeah. If you need an organ, obviously you need to be able to play. There's a certain way you play an organ. Obviously, you heard in that demo. There's a certain way you play. It's very soulful. It's very rich. It's, you know, it reminds me of, you know, listening to gospel music or, you know, going to church. That's the sort of organ. That's what you want. That's the uplifting organ right there. Lots of churchgoers are going to be getting this plug in. I tell you what, that just sounds mint. Very, very realistic sounding, of course. Waterfall B3 from Universal Audio. Universal Audio never letting us down. Right, let's move along to our next piece of news here. It comes to us from these boys here, Serato. And I don't know if this, this, I feel like this is also an overlooked piece of software. It could be completely wrong. It probably has a massive user base that is not watching this channel or podcast. But Serato Studio, which I absolutely love and I own, by the way, I have a full license of, Serato Studio just got updated to 1.7.3. Now, what is new in 1.7.3, which is pretty cool if you're on the go, and that's pretty much what Serato Studio is good for. It's it's sort of like it's an instrument and a door. It's a really fun... I did a video on it. You can go check it out on my YouTube channel, Emlyn in the Mix, hashtag subscribe now. Uh, they've added some new features. It's really cool. Anyway, it's an instrument and a door. I don't know. It's really interesting, this this thing. I wouldn't use it as my fully-fledged door, but you can. You can actually build full, fully-fledged songs inside. Anyway, what's new in this update is the drum deck keyboard mode. So now you can actually essentially, and I'm going to show you, I've got a, a live demonstration here for you, but you can essentially play back the audio. And we just need to make sure it's going to play back here. Just one sec. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. That's Serato Studio just there. You can essentially play it back on your keyboard now, which is pretty cool. That's a new uh, addition. And you get 16 pads, you get a mixer view, you get the show shortcut keys, full screen, song view, Pioneer DJ, Diddy, J Rev 1 support if you have that piece of hardware. You got the recording workflow improvement, peak indicator, light, and dedicated pan control, full song automation. But I think the main thing is that you've got this 16 pads view. So if we jump over quickly here on the Emlyn in the Mix podcast, if you're watching us here on YouTube, if you're listening on the podcast, that's fine. You can just listen. And if you're watching us here, you can see Serato Studio in action. So if I actually click uh, my keys, so it's got a now, I'm terrible at playing on the keyboard, but that's no excuse, isn't it, guys? That's really hard to play. I'm just these tiny little keys here. Now, one thing I like about Serato Studio is you can just grab a kit and you can literally just drag and drop it. It'll update my samples here. That's actually an EDM kit, so it's meant to be. Where's my snare? 
It's actually play. I've got a MIDI controller over here, so it's actually easy to play on. And it sounds really loud. I like that snare though. Where's that? A, the MIDI's a bit different. Here it is. <laughs> it just gets distorted. But anyway, you know, you got a bunch of awesome kits here. Hip hop. It's actually really hard to play on the little keyboard. But the way they've laid it out, it's pretty cool on the keyboard. See, 16 pads sort of goes across 1, 2, 3, 4, down to Q, you know, QWERTY, ASDF, and ZXCV being your pads down the bottom there. I really love, really love the kits they have in Serato Sample. Serato Studio, sorry. How good does that sound? Anyway, I just wanted to quickly show you that's what's new in the update. If you are a Serato Studio user or you're interested in getting it, go check it out. It's more than just that. It's more than just being able to play some kits. You can actually sequence everything. You make full songs. You can even master it. It's a lot of fun. Really love it. And that is a cool, really cool update, which I'm going to have a lot of fun with this week. All right, let's move along to our last piece of news here. It comes to us from our friends at UVI. They've been busy this year. They've actually, the last few podcasts we've had, you know, quite a few mentions and they even had that dual delay X or direct delay X, which I covered on the YouTube channel as well. You can go check out that video when you get a chance. Uh, but this is new. This is Mission 6. What is Mission 6? It is an analog polysynth revival. It's incredible sonic range, defines typical poly analog limitations, deep multi-sample, deliver the authentic hardware sound and explore hundreds of handcrafted presets and create your own. So it's true synthesizer innovation, epic instrument both in design and capability. This machine is an audacious synthesizer that seemingly came out of nowhere in 2000. A play on the word ASIC, this beast took the world by surprise and redefined the capabilities of the analog polysynth with 16 dual oscillators, dual filters, voices using custom ICs and 16 multi-timbral parts, an analog dream machine capable of both cross and ring modulation and loaded with both SEM and ladder style filter per voice, numerous LFOs, highly flexible envelopes, a powerful mob matrix, built-in effects and generous hands-on control. This synthesizer is a sound designer's dream. And to this day is a potent, massively capable instrument that feels well ahead of its time. Let's have a quick listen. It is part of their Sonic Pass subscription service that they have as well. Let's have a quick listen to some of the sounds of Mission 6. Here we go. I'm going to play them back here. demo Stellavision by Dip Crusher really showing off this synth's luscious analog sound 
UVI have nailed it again with Mission 6. This is an incredible, incredible sounding instrument. And yeah, it's based on this amazing analog synth that, as they said, came out in 2000. No matter how deep you go with the original hardware, it's hard to feel that you've done much more than scratch the surface. The number of tricks this synth can pull off and flavors you can create are nearly endless. That said, our sound developers had an absolute blast putting this machine through its paces, creating an incredible collection of sounds that range from vintage 08 esque tones to thick and gritty FM, lush filter sweep pads to bubbling leads and wild textures and find inspiration with all new sounds mission six can easily find a home in anything from 80s era pop to modern genre hip-hop scoring and more and they've added over 33,000 samples recorded directly from the hardware packing mission six with 400 presets wow made from 340 plus layers including categories such as bass keys pluck strings polysynths leads vocals and more each sound in mission six is fully customizable and can be used straight away or as the starting point for any new sound well there it is guys that's mission six by uvi and it is part of their sonic pass that subscription sonic pass must be coming more and more desirable i've had a few people reach out to me and say they love in terms of subscription services i've had a few people's feedback actually is that uad uad spark is a must-have apparently and this sonic pass apparently is now a hot a hot product it's a hot subscription service because if you think about it, the uvi stuff's actually pretty good we cover it a few times on this channel every now and then especially when they release new stuff but uvi honestly they are killing it this is their year it seems like the people who are killing it this year it seems like native instruments definitely killing it. uvi and uad who else roland at earlier in the year and teenage engineering just seem to be even though they're causing you know a bit of controversy out there in the community people still want their products teenage engineering i'm probably missing a few there anyway that's the podcast for today i hope you enjoyed it i'm freezing i'm gonna wrap it up here but i hope you enjoy let me know in the comments down below if you are watching us and you enjoyed some of the products we went over today if you want to support the channel you can always buy me a coffee if you're watching on youtube you probably see me slurping away on this coffee during the demos or you probably saw me dancing like a fool as i was in one of those demos before one of those demos just got me down i was just down dancing i think it was that last time i was listening to i was dancing i was gone and i hope this podcast inspires you to stay creative or maybe go out and create some tracks with the equipment you already have or you want to get one of those, uh, click the affiliate link down below if you love some of those expansions from Native Instruments there. We get some support back to this podcast. It really does help to keep the podcast going. And with all of that out of the way, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Till next week, I'll be back with the latest and greatest. Whatever is happening, I'll cover it here on the YouTubes and the podcasts. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me. See you next week, guys. Boom. Peace out.